Hello everyone, welcome to World of Warships with the Magnificent Margon, all live! Today we're going to look at scenarios, a new game mode that has just been introduced to um, World of Warships. Now, this is probably a very interesting battle. Um, I don't remember how to do things um, with this. It's been a long time since I've actually... Stand by for anyway. Um, with oh, shit, that's really loud. Um, I might just, I might just change this down a bit quickly. Game boy. Oh, then we're not blast there, but okay. What we've done here, and I'm just gonna try and remember what the pause button is. There it is. We've actually taken out as a group. Now we had to be really, really picky about what we did. Now why can't I actually bring up the team list? I can only bring it up when it's playing. So what we've got is an aircraft carrier. Now I recommend an aircraft carrier. Probably I don't know whether it'd be any better with the American, but the Ryoju works really fine. Neptune did a great job screening uh, one of the members from our clan. Um, the next sort of sort of things, as you can see, we're spread out. We've got a couple of cruisers, a couple of battleships, and then we've got a couple of randoms, battleships, and cruisers. So we didn't have any destroyers in this battle, which did make little bit of a difference to the game as such. Now, the main tactic we managed to work out what we had to do um, to get the results we did in this battle was focus firing. So getting right in there really early in the battle and taking down targets, claiming names. Um, so you get the first wave. Now the first wave can start in one of three positions really on the map. As you can see, the first, as you watch my match, there's the first position, second position, and third position. Um, I don't know whether it's going to make much of a difference coming from different positions on the map, whether it is. But having an aircraft carrier allows you the power to have spotting. And spotting is a key necessity in this game scenario of defending your base. Now as you can see there is an outer ring. There are several different tasks we have to do. We have to hold out and tool um, the Atali uh, <laughs> Allied Attack Squadron um, comes in. We've got to save uh, at least one of the sh on shores um, to support the ships. Um, then there's the other secondary tasks. So you've got onshore installation support, don't allow the enemies to defense perimeter, and ensure at least three of your ships in your task force survives until the end of the battle. So there's there's all those, there's one, two, three, four there, plus the winning gives you another star by memories as well. So what we've done is realistically, like as you can see, I'm, I'm zooming in and out a lot, but I'll, I'll do this. I was aiming at the Tenru there, I believe it was, but then changed my targeting to the Chick and did some nice damage to the Chikamara. Um, and this is what I mean, this is our focus firing that we've done. We've got ourselves in a nice spread position. Two cruisers are out the front. We've got the lander back here shooting, but he's not in the team speak, so it makes it hard. Second wave. Now, I did warn, and you've got to be ready for this. Our cruisers, before we took out the last ship, turn about, start coming back to base. We don't need you to take too much in the way of damage. We need to keep you guys alive as long as possible. And that's basically what we've managed to do. Um... We're lucky they go for your surveillance t stations and stuff first, um, which does give you a bit of advantage. As you see, I've popped my plane to get up the height. I do doink my first shot by memory on the Ichizumi. Now, these ships move incredibly fast. don't know whether they've got a speed buff at all or what's happening um, and things like that. So it's one of those things. I don't know where your binky is. Can It's on the couch. Have a look for it yourself. Sorry, guys kids. Don't work with kids and animals. And I've got two dogs in the room and I've got a kid walking around. So Neptune is doing a fantastic job screening us um, and using his planes and things like that to scout. Now I've seen the um, Zumi. I've got my spotter plane up. I've got a very good chance at hitting this guy and destroying him. So I'm going to take the chance as you can see. And as much as it would have been fantastic to take him out, it's not quite the takeout that I wanted. But hey, I'll take the two Citadels and the 25,000 damage. Um, it means that it gives us a bit more of a 
freedom to do things. Now, I haven't taken any damage as of yet. Um, it's interesting. The bots actually target some of the weakest targets on your team. So you really got to try and balance what you've got to do. Now, as you can see, um, Thunder is actually heading back to base. I think he's going back to heal to get some more hit points. Now, this is the other thing. There are over in the base. I will get... Oh, I will... Um, as soon as I work out my buttons again... Uh, uh oh, I've lost the ship. Hang on. I lost my ship. Um, if we look at the base, screen it around quickly. At the base, there is um, for Liberty, and there should be another one, I thought. Uh, and the St. Clair. They actually, um, they will actually heal um, your ship. So they will go out and heal the batteries on the outside here, the main batteries, if they get taken out. So you've got to try and protect those batteries. Um, so there's all these other key things you've got to keep in mind. So you're trying to keep your shore batteries alive because they are very... I have lost my ship. I have actually got a bug. There we are. It's it's back. Uh, <laughs> um, so you, you, it's better to keep them alive as much as possible um, because the shore batteries do help out with doing fire control and stuff like this. Now, as you can see, we've worked down their cruisers and stuff like that and eliminated them quickly, got rid of the destroyers. Now, the aircraft carrier is still around. He is still a threat to us. Um, as you can see, Hass, uh, one of the other members, is in the war spot. He is doing really well. Ratchet is in his Bioni, doing really well, keeping the hit points up. The Leander and him are working together in that smoke screen quite nicely, which does allow us battleships to do it. Now, our... Haruna, which is what it is, over on the far side here, or well, the Congo, basically, got himself a long way out of front. And this is the hard, this is the one thing you got to be careful about with your battleships. You don't want to be going too far out because, as you can see, the new squadron has come in and he is way too far away from us for us to help him. And at the same time, um, we're also not able... To, he's not able to get back or to a safety position. So... It's sort of one of those things, you've got to stay as a collective group in defence. Um, so as you can see, I haven't moved much from the centre of the map because I can pretty well screen our area as much as possible, which is what I want to be able to do. Um, I've got to be able to screen and protect. So we've got Neptune now who's flying his bombers up and being chased by the fighters to try and take out the Izumi and, and get rid of him, basically. Um, we need to get rid of his aircraft from being a threat to us, and that's now, now the advantage. None of us can get the range on him, none of us can shoot him, he's out of our range. So we've all got to sort of now focus in, and this is this is the key. You've got to be focused firing and pushing these enemies back and eliminating them. Um, now, Thunder is actually coming back out in his Cleveland now. now it would have been pretty fantastic if we had Thunder around at the end of this battle, but unfortunately he had computer issues. Now, there is a few bugs being worked out at the moment with wargaming and stuff like that within the game. A few, a few over-penetrations there on the over. Um, there goes our Haruna, and that's the thing. This is, this is the thing you've got to be careful of. Getting too far out, stretching yourself too far away, means that you cannot actually be defended. You can't. It, it just makes it too hard. And unfortunately there, Ratchet was getting too far out of the smoke uh, by going forward by upside down. But you know, at least things happen. So it, it didn't affect us greatly. I'm trying to fire on this Nuremberg. Um, we're trying to really focus down this group because the other key is if you take down, I think, this group very quickly, you will get the aircraft carrier um, that will come in as an allied force to help you. And having the Lexington, I think it was, that came in on this battle, did make a difference, but the only thing is when Lexington, Lexington popped up on our map, it made it very hard because he was being chased down by um, another two cruisers. So Neptune was heading out that way. Um, was it Neptune? No, Thunder. Thunder and his Cleveland was heading out that way. I'm facing that direction. As you can see, I've slowed down for the torpedoes, knowing that they could be in the water and stuff like that. So this is the other key things we've got to look at and there goes the over thankfully we just got the um the grenade there um he's trying to smoke up to protect himself it's not going to work so now i'm trying to get myself into a position to get back to the base um get some more hit points um well actually i'm going to use my repair i've got to stay out here and and do things like that so i'm going to actually i'm pretty sure i'm using my repair very soon it would have been fantastic if I used it probably a little bit sooner because um, 
I did need the hit points a bit more soon. As you can see, I'm trying to spot what's actually going to happen. Now, we've got our Lexington. Um, the Lexington, if we look at the map very, very quickly, has popped up right down here in the corner coming through. You do get allied forces somewhere up around here that join. In the, obviously, you can get them down here in the 4-5 line area. So the, the EF, the 4-5, is a key point of interest in this map that I've seen and in, in probably the handful of battles I've played. As you see, we are pinging them up to say the aircraft carries up there, but it's fine. Like he has, I don't think he's got any aircraft left because we've taken the most out. I've taken seven, quite a few of the other guys I'm sure have taken. There's the repair. I should have done that a lot earlier, that repair. Hell of a area in that uh, area earlier, and that was my own fault. Now here we go. We've got the Morg army, and we've got a hipper down here to the south. It's really going to be only... Um, Thunder and myself, Thunder is trying to get down there to save the Lexington. As you can see, the Lexington is down here. He is being fired upon and shot. Now, th th this is one of the things you've got to be careful of. Um, stuff like that. There's a Citadel. That's a great one on the Magormi. Um, Neptune on fire once again, screening with those torpedoes. Um, helping out. Look at that. Took that one down and cause the hippo to turn away, which means he will lose probably the actions of being able to fire some of his guns at Lexington. Slow him down a bit, angle him out. Um, and as you can see, we're all trying to focus fire this area. We're all moving back to protect the Lexington because we want to keep this guy alive. Having air superiority is a definite must in this game. And it did probably save our butts a lot more keeping him alive. Now, the Miyoko and the Shan Horse are on this flank. Um, now, Shan Horse Tier 7 um, Premium Battleship, by memory? Yes, Premium. Um, versus a Premium Tier 6 Arizona. Now, I didn't know how I was going to fare, so I am sort of running away because I still want to protect the Lexington. Like, we've got to keep him alive. He is something that we're doing, and, and Thunder's in there now, really getting sucked in. So, I'm about ready to fire... Um, I don't think I do fire because um, the Lexington actually dropped his torpedoes on it, which was good. I remember the Thunder actually commenting and saying thank you to um, Neptune for that, but unfortunately it was a Lexington. I don't know what you're going to do with that, but please don't make a mess in the land room. So now the attention goes to defending this flank. And the other, the War Spite, um, which is played by Haas and um, Ratchet, are going to go back with the Bioni and stuff and sort of defend the middle. The Leander's still sitting in the middle. I'm pretty sure he's in smoke. Uh, where is our Leander? Uh, um, 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 I can't actually see over the top of the island. It's very hard to see over the top of the island. Um, I think he's in smoke, yes. He must be in smoke. Actually, why don't I just hit the map button? I mean, that didn't really show it, did it? Um, so yeah, so basically now I side, we've got to focus on Miyoko, we're going to take Miyoko down. Um, I'm going to start rotating my ship around to engage these guys. Because now we've actually completed one of the tasks, which was defend or keep our base perimeter secured. I think we've just completed that one. Sure, at least um, three ships. Yeah, so we've completed one of the one of the star points, which is to defend our outdoor perimeter. The Lexington has sailed into the center area. We're in position, and I think this is when roughly um, Thunder, unfortunately, actually loses his game, and it's really unfortunate. There's a few few bugs at the moment, and um, I've been very lucky at the moment to have the hit points I have going into this. And this is the thing: keeping hit points is really, really, really key in this game. As you can see, I'm trying to get that Citadel point to get rid of him, make sure I finish him off. I only took one shell actually to penetrate him. Now it's me with the Shan Horse. And as you can see, Arizona is a pretty tough battleship. Like, I, I, I find the Arizona to be quite quite a nice, balanced ship. It's got a lot of really good angling on it and stuff like that and everything. So I'm trying to get my rear guns around. I'm trying to angle myself for the Shan Horse, keep myself alive. As you can see, I'm at point blank range. He's taken out... Oh, he took out my rear turret. I didn't notice that before. I'm, ang I'm actually getting my guns and... Um, Firing them at this, I'm just going to zoom out. I'm not going to go on the sniper mode for this one. This is this is a really good battle. I was, as I mean, look at it. I'm angling and everything like this to try and keep my. I've told the others, look, I'll deal with the Shawn horse, the Shawn horse, the Shan horse, and I, I, I should be right. You guys go back and defend the right flank now. As you can see, there's a lot more pressure there, so they've all moved back that way. Thunder, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I had DC now. 
Um, as you can see, I'm just keeping the, the angling going. It's keeping me alive. And the Shan horse is just about to launch his torpedoes at me. And this is where I take a really big, heavy blow. But I haven't used my repair yet. Kept my repair off. And here comes those torpedoes. And there's it it not a lot I can do at this range against the torpedoes. I do eat two of them. I then repair and I also hit the heal party very, very quickly to try and make sure I don't flood and take any more damage I need to. I did call out to um, Neptune. I'm going to need help with the Shan Horse now. I did call for a bit earlier saying, Neptune, can you help me support? I'll I'll eat the um, Shan Horse's shells, but I need the support to do this. And unfortunately, I do cop shells in the side from the Azumo. And this is where I really start to lose hit points because there's a nice 12,000 against me because I can't actually do it. And it's great, actually, the Leander came back and survived me. Now, I did compliment the Leander. He did a fantastic job moving around the map, being in the right positions and stuff like that. Neptune's come in, dropped his torpedoes on the Shan Horse, finishing him off. I am currently on a 13,000 burning for 11 more seconds. Um... And I'm just trying to get behind this island to keep me unspotted. There's more damage on me. Whoa. And this one, this is the tense moment for me. This is really, really tense. I've launched my spotter plane to get up there to get me some more height. So that I'm able to um, utilize that. I am being focused by the York now. And this is the thing. When you're really low hit points, every one of the enemy bots focuses you. So this is the key thing to keep in mind. Now, what's, uh, I knew, I sort of had a feeling the Azumi was going to hit that ship and slow down, as you can see. I fired three of my shells, but I had HE loaded. For, I, I loaded that up for the Shan Horse. Um, purely and simply because I needed. There's another 300. I've got 10 seconds left. Can I survive a bit longer? Six seconds. Oh, I'm on 77, two seconds. And this was really tense for me. Like, I'm sitting and going, fuck, no, and I've hit it. And more hit points come in. I'm like, oh. but I'm still like one shot away. So this was, this was the tense bit. Now, our center battery has been taken out, but that's fine. We're already at the pass point. Deflected the shells from the Izumi. I was like, yep, okay, cool. Let's, I've got 30 seconds. I can swing my ass out. Let's get some shells on this guy. Let's do a bit more damage to him. Aiming up to try and penetrate through his hole. I'm now going to, I'm pretty sure I'll hard right it back. I didn't get as much damage as I would have liked. I'll hard left it back. I've got a Tenru coming in on my left. I've only got 5,000 hit points. But I need to get my ship angled for the Izumi. And this is why, as you see, minimum damage, 1,000 damage. And the Izumi's down. And I'm like, yes, I've survived. I've survived a bit longer. Now, it's only the Tenru over this fight, and there is a Yubari in the center. And this is the last two ships on the enemy team. My opinion of the game, I would have liked to have seen probably a few more other things added into the game. Um, probably like an enemy list, so you know how many ships are coming in on the on like uh, an enemy list thing. Um, the Allied Squadron has finally arrived in the last two forces. There's a nice citadel on the ten route. I'm still sitting here going, don't kill me. Crossing fingers, doing everything I can to, like, go, no, leave me alone. And um, it's just the ten route left. And it's fantastic. And, and that's pretty much, that was how we, as a clan, and the two other randoms that did join our battle, managed to pull off this victory. Um... There is a few screenshots to go up as well um, that I have of um, the battle. I will run through at the end of the video just on, um, so you can see them very quickly. Um, but yeah, fantastic. New game mode in World of Warships, slow motion blowing up of a tenure. Um, really enjoyed it. Really thoroughly recommend um, this game mode. Um, I think it's going to be great seeing what other scenarios and stuff we can actually play and do in um, this new game mode. So there we go. That's our five-star victory. Um, 129,000 damage. Great team effort from all the guys that came with me. Neptune, Hass, Thunder, and Ratchet. Um, plus, I will give a call out to Toby NP, the Leander. On, um, he did a fantastic job. And... Um, AOM, I see, yeah, like, mate, you, you stretch yourself out, but you're part of the division, the part of the division and the part of this team that won. 
Look, guys, outside of that, once again, as usual, subscribe. Um, subscribe, like um, my videos. Join me on Twitch. I do play random other games on Twitch. I find it too hard to play World of Warships just because of my ping level. Um, but yeah, outside of that, look. Plus, oh, Facebook page. Go over there, like, follow, whatever. And stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. And I am looking forward to putting more scenario battles up very, very soon. Catch you all later.